we're more interested in sort of looking at the language people use uh, to talk about vaccines in ways that uh, justify certain types of relationships to the vaccines. Uh, so like if they are uh, explicitly anti-vax, like they don't want to take the vaccine, um, how do they talk about that? Uh, and then, or if they're, they're sort of, they have questions, um, like how do they frame those questions? And th because those questions come from a particular sort of social location, uh, cultural uh, uh, viewpoints. So what we're really interested in putting together is kind of a, a cultural typology of vaccine misinformation. I think this is not necessarily just a story about social media. Like it's uh, social media may have made uh, the social underlying social dynamics more transparent. But I mean, I, I think I, I was I often go back to a recent story um, that was uh, in the New York Times. There was reports of people in Missouri who were going to their doctor to ask to get vaccinated, but asking their doctor not to tell anybody, right? Now that's not a story about social media, right? Convincing anybody. That's a story about people interacting with their social networks and having a lot of sort of social pressure to not, you know, disclose that they have uh, a vaccine, right? Uh, so I, I think that there are these underlying sort of uh, kind of uh, foundational social relations that dictate how uh, these problems are uh, unfold. I think if we can do research that addresses the, those first. Uh, and sort of um, challenges the sort of more super, superficial, broad brush uh, kind of explanations. I think that's uh, that's worthwhile.